welcome back to our little podcast on how to tag uh, references for a BNL essay. All right, in our previous uh, video, we had copy edited the references and copied and pasted them into a separate document. So now we are going to open our JEdit editor, which is a customized version of JEdit, so not just the one that you could download. And a frightening thing it is too. All right, we've now opened the JEdit editor. It says untitled, um, and there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. What we need is um, a basic shell of a document um, that will allow us to input our text. So, let's see. Looking on my desktop just because that's BNL blank. Everyone should keep one of these copies handy um, in their computer. Uh, so I will, and I will immediately rename it um, so that I don't uh, mess up my blank one. This was B I S W S. Yep. Okay, this was dot XML. Now make sure you got that XML. Um, extension in there. It could cause problems if you don't. All right, I've saved it. Now, let's look at what we have here. We probably don't want to know all of this, but uh, here is the declaration that tells you what version of XML you're using. Um, here is uh, the declaration that tells you what DTD or document type definition you um, are instructing this document to look for. That is the available um, nest of, uh, or roster of tags that you can use. Don't touch anything here. <laughs> and then the next thing is body. Uh, don't touch that. Ignore all of this. This has nothing to do with you. But make sure that you have, after you have a body, that you have an off body or a slash body. This is crucial to actually having a document that can be uploaded and shown. Alrighty, so we've renamed our document and now I need to go to my desktop and look for the essay. That this, oh, that's this was like Where is it? No, I don't see it. Do we pause and look Here, for it? Here, this was Oh, that's reference. You reference this All right. So I'm going to select all copy and paste and it's in there now it's not, not going to be particularly happy at this point but to the first thing we need to do is to put all of these references within a general references tag so I highlight the whole thing and then I click on references so you have the beginning after body you have references, you've got all of your stuff, then you have off references, and then down here you have your off body. Now we're ready to roll. Um, you wanna be persnickety, click on the error list, and it says we have no errors and no warnings. I'm sure we can fix that. Right <laughs> okay. Now, Chrissy's favorite way of dealing with this is to tag all of the entries with a Ref, ref, what's it called? A ref, ref item. item before going in and, and dealing with any of the italics or anything. And that's just based on having had things crash in my life in the past. So I want to get it in rough enough shape that it could be uploaded. Okay, so within the references, I pick my first ref item. And here it comes up, ref ID. And I say REF1. This is my first one. Now, when I get tired, sometimes I put R1, and the, the editor will not like that and will not accept it. So, REF1, no other markings. Boom. Just to keep things tight, I make an extra empty line. And so, this is part voodoo, but part carefulness. I always try to bring the ref 
off ref item right up mm -hmm. but against the end of the citation. But you never know how it's going to respond. Right. And the reason conference. to do that is that um, one of the common things you can do, and we probably will do one of those when um, doing the references, is to get a period outside of the ref item. That can happen and that creates havoc. But there are ways to catch them. But nevertheless, this gives us. All right. Ref two. Ref two. Ref three. And then we can pause oh, yeah. and do the right, like a cooking show, as you keep saying. Is one we put that earlier. And pretend that we have just tagged all of these. And let's go down to the last one and go. Ooh, I don't know which one this will be. Let's just call it 25. Let's All right, call it 50. We'll, we'll call it Ref 50, just for um, argument's sake, to show you how the final Ref item looks in relation to the references tag. All right, we're going to save. Um, and now, pretending that we have marked all of those, we're going to go back up and do this is phase two. We've marked all our rep items, one, two, and three. If you find out later that you have to move um, things around, like you don't have good alphabetical skills like I don't, um, don't worry about renaming the numbers. Uh, all you want is for the ID to point to the correct item, and you can move, move the items around inside the editor, and they will print or display in the order you have them. Let's see if that makes sense. All right, now, what do we do here? This is the name of a what, Dr. Iyengar? Which I don't even know what we, uh, the... We're going to tag the inside parts of the ref item. Oh, okay. So, but what are you selected? Well... Oh, title of short work. Is now, that we're going that's through? kind of a trap. Ah. Um, and I'll just going to change. If, if you t tag it as title of short work, it will work. So um, I'm going to just for a minute take out the take out of words. And for title of short works, you need to get the period included in there so that the uh, closing um, tag will be after the period. So you'll have a show as a period, um, close quotes. Now, celebrity interview is, you only have three types that you can choose between. Is this Shakespearean, Hamlet, Macbeth, as you like it? Is it an appropriation or is it other? It's other. Almost every, many, many things will be other. In another world in time, we will complicate this, but that is what it is. Um, so we call it other. Now, having title of short work other, here's your title, you have the period and the title of short work. I'm now going to undo this for a very simple reason. We can't use the title of short work for this particular one because we have a title of a long work inside of it. So I'm going to reinstate the, the quotation marks. And leave it untagged. Well, leave leave the short work untagged, and just and this is something you just have to do. Um, it is illegal to nest title of a long work inside, inside title that. of a short work. So if you need to get Omkara with its italics, then you need to just give up tagging the short work. Okay, and that is all your right. Are we going to put that it's a, it's appropriation? It's appropriation. Let's look at the second one down. It's yeah. a film. Yay. Um, with films, just let me tell you that there's really no appropriate subgenre, <laughs> so we just leave it with film. And which Shakespearean genre is it dealing with? Oh, you're asking me. I am. Oh, you are tragedy. Tragedy. And there we have a nicely tagged uh, title of a long work. That. Mm -hmm. All right. So BollywoodNews.com news. Dollywood.com News is a title of a long work, and here, of course, we don't put the period inside, but outside, and it too is another. Great. All right. Now, the next thing we have to do is to make a link. So I copy, let's say, let's do it this way, edit, copy. 
coffee. And then above the available uh, tags over here is the link. And I simply paste that into the URI and I'm done. I double check to make sure the period is inside the ref item and I save it. Let's look at it, maybe find a couple more interesting ones to tag. Um, that might be different, but I think this is, let's see. Do you want to do the article to show them what? Yeah, uh, this one here? Yeah, because all right, that let's one look we at can the tag in short work, right? All right. So we can tag, there are no italics inside visual narrative. First of all, we need to give it a ref item number. Ooh, okay, yeah. In a perfect world, we would have already tagged uh, this ref item number. What's wrong? You haven't selected the M. Uh -huh. I have left the M outside. Bad. <laughs> All right. So, rough item. We're going to call it rough 51 and correct it later just because we're, we are freestyling here. Okay. Oops. Highlight. It's so picky, isn't it? You need good glasses to do this. Uh huh. I also need, um, I don't like to also tag down in the bottom of the browser. It starts to make my neck hurt, so I kind of keep moving it up. Alright, this is a title of a short work and it is not surprisingly another. Uh, and then we will tag oops visual and other blood measures. And that too is another. If you make mistakes, you can always hit the undo button. And the XML editor um, very intelligently has a long string of undos yeah. that you can do. So don't panic, just hit undo. All right. Uh, let's, maybe we should tag the Shakespeare. Yeah, oh, just for fun. And we'll call this Ref 53. All right. So first is our title is long work. I don't include the period in there. And it is Shakespearean, and it is a tragedy. And here we have the Norton Shakespeare. Now, the collected works is a little different, but. Title of long work, and I just um, tag it as Shakespeare because Shakespeare, yeah. there's got all the genres in there. Oops. Let's bring up that closing ref item quote just for um, make it nice and visible. And See you back in a few minutes.